Breaking news, IGP Adamu set to sue the hell out of Sahara reporters. Hello, my wonderful people. How are you doing today? Very warm welcome to every one of you here. If this is your first time, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your support. And please subscribe so you can always get all our latest news. Thank you so much. A few days ago, we reported to you that the IGP of police, who we all know that is Tenor, was extended by three months. Uh, the news broke out that the guy spent over 2 billion naira, 2 billion, to get uh, is tenor extended and the plan was he was thinking it would be extended for one more year you know they get into power they get into positions and they think that they'll be there forever before they know even if it's a five years tenor it goes so quickly and they don't want to leave apparently the news broke out that he paid some people in Aso Rock, uh, uh some religious clergy that could speak to the powers that be to give him an extension why other service chiefs were replaced he was extended by three months. However, this was not the plan. He wanted a year. And so when the when this tenor extension came out, which was not announced by Buhari anyway, we don't see Buhari. It was announced by some aid that the IGP's uh, position, uh, you know, has been extended. And the news broke out that he spent over $2 billion. The guy is spitting hell. So you know what? I'm going to sue Sahara reporters. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. IGP Adamu set to sue the hell out of Sahara reporters. The Inspector General of Police, IGP Mohammed Adamu, said he has directed his legal team to commence legal actions against Sahara reporters. This follows a report by the online publication that Adamu spent over two billion lobbying influential Nigerians to secure a second or a tenor extension for one more year. The paper even claimed that the money was a waste as the IGP only secured a three months extension. But in a recent reaction, the IGP High Command described the report as untrue, unfounded, defamatory, and mischievous. The police wishes to state categorically that the extension of the service of the IGP was strictly the prerogative of the president and was never paid for, as maliciously reported by the publication, he said. Police spokesman Commissioner Frank Mob has said. The instructions, the instigation also by Sahar reporters that the IGP did not celebrate his extension, sneaks of ignorance and a pathetic misplacement of priority. The extension does not call for merry making or celebration, but a time for more work, rededication to duty and selfless service to the nation, said the IGP. So you're not really happy now, not a lie now, tell us the truth. We know that nobody can just sit down in his house and fabricate that story. There is, There, is a, there are some elements. Hmm? You know when you lit fire in the bush, you see that fire fragments, that's, you know, that's when the fire is burning. They quickly melt off and becomes um, ashes, but you see them sparking off, you know. So there is some truth, so to say. We don't know if it's true, but an alleged information, but yeah, yeah, what I'm trying to say here is that nobody can sit down in his living room and just say, okay, let's put it, no, two and two, no, 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 there's more to it. Let's continue. The IGPY assuring the nation of an unwavering commitment to the focus under his leadership to improve service delivery, safety and security of the citizens and joined members of the public to disregard the dis Contenance and the publication of the Sahar reporters as evidently and utterly untrue, unfounded. The IGP is undistracted and the force remain motivated and committed to delivering on its mandate, especially the tax of neutralizing current and emerging internal security threats, he had added. So, my dear, this is where we are driving at IGP. Say, you know what, uh, Sahara reporter say you are done for. You say that um, I was not happy about my um, 
Tenor extension, wow, <laughs> you have just touched the tail of the tiger. And guess what? I will turn around and bite you. So IGP said, no, there is no such thing, no, that uh, it's just a figment of their imagination. They are just daydreaming, actually, really and truly, that he did not uh, call for anybody or anyone or anything to say that, you know, that um, he he's lobbied for tenor extension. But the point is, guys, I want you to look at it from from this angle okay do you believe sahar reporters to a large extent is a is a is a is a well i mean to a large extent they are well reliable with regards to news uh, so much so that lately um not too long i mean a few weeks ago they did a publication with regards to the achievement of the nigerian army uh, in the northern part of nigeria with regards to the b-boys yes and um they made sure that they, you know they used some old pictures and you know they were they were told that they did not use the right pictures of what is currently on ground and guess what they admitted and they apologized so to a large extent the sahar reporters are credible source of information you know especially with this day and age that our conventional media system in nigeria talking about ait channels arise and the rest have been monitored, closely monitored by Nigerian government officials. Lion Mohammed, in fact, has locked that part up and put the key in his pocket. What is going on currently, starting from NSAS, even before NSAS, this administration has made it clear and stated that anybody who reports and make the international community see what is going on in Nigeria, they will use an English for you to tell you that uh, you are discrediting the nation. Then they will put a fine on that media house, you know, make it very difficult for them or threats of closing it up. So this has kind of, in a long way, you know, put the media under their claws such that they only say what their principal asked them to say. Don't forget that the media at the other end, you know, this is the job and the livelihood of those involved in that career. So, I mean, if you want to keep your job, then you abide by the rule. Remember answers. Lai Mohammed, a single minister, is just a minister like Minister of Transportation, Minister of Housing, Fashola, Minister of uh, Human Affairs, Minister. They don't call them presidency. That's to tell you that there is no government, there is no leadership in our government. And I wonder why the vice president and the likes of those in government cannot tell Nigerians what is really happening. They are rather quiet, even in the face of this Fulani in, in, in invasion into their very own land and what is going on. Truth, of, truth be told, when anything evil starts, you think you'll be exonerated or you'll be exempted. Mm -mm, you will not. Guys, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.